How's it going this morning? Right here I am, AIWF Ringside Wrestling, the King of Martinsville, Rick Diesel, back on the air. Hey, I promised to you, I told you last week I was going to do it, I got them here. I got the lady wrestlers today. I got my first guest, Cheryl Day, right here. Cheryl. Hi. That's Cheryl. That's me. All right, we're going to go straight to the phones. All right, y'all ready? Let's hook it up today. Hello, you're on there. Rick Diesel. What's going on? This is Chris Benoit. Crippler. You're crippling? You're crippling? I'm going up there to take you out, punk. What? Not if you're crippled. You're next on my list, boy. What? You just said you was crippled. What are you going to do? Ride me with your wheelchair? You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm coming up there for you. Yeah, okay. You better watch out. All right. Watch your mouth, you long-haired sissy punk. Okay, ain't that you say? Yeah, shut up. Yeah, okay. Loser. All right. Wow. He's crippled, though. He said, I'm crippled. I'm going to go up there and kick your butt. He's going to run me with a wheelchair. <laughs> hey, he handled you pretty good. He called you a blonde punk. I'm not blonde. Hello, you on there? Hi, this is Hans, and this is Franz, and we are here to pump you up. I get a kick right. out of these people up Must here. Must be you. They're a trip. They, these people are a trip up here, man. I get such a kick out of them. They'll call in. They, they, they're, they're afraid to call in and talk like in their own voice and everything. They like to call in and make up like, I'm Hans and I'm Franz, you know, but. Hold on, folks. Call you call in. Girly man. See? You're so flabby. You need to go on so diet, have some carbohydrates. We'll pump you up, you weasel. All right. <laughs> carbohydrates. It's, it's, that's Elmer, Bud, Franz, and Hans. Look at that flabby body. We are perfect sculptors. Oh, we are talking about him, right? What? We are talking about him, right? He's not perfect. We are. He's a flabby he girly said they're man. The so, so far today, ladies and gentlemen, on, on, on the show today, we have had a, a crippled man and two sculptors call in. Arnold will get you. He is the Terminator. Oh, yeah, Arnold. Terminator. Okay. I am the Dominator. Dominator. That means he uses whips. Uh huh. Oh, I don't think I'm into that. I think that's you and and your boyfriends. See, they heard. See, yeah, but see, that one called in Hans they and heard. Hans, the Dominator. Honey, they heard about you. You are a real woman. I'm going to take Thank you, you out. Me and, and Franz are going to take you out because you are pumped up. Thank you. Okay. Hello, you're on there. Hey, Rick. What's going on? People in this county really love you, you know what? Evidently. I tell you what, you better watch it. Somebody might come up there and try to get you. I ain't worried about none of these people up here. I've been doing this show since December, and if, and, and I think last count I've had about uh, 2,393 threats, and I ain't seen one go through with it yet. Well, tell them if they want a piece of you to get in the ring with you. That's right. They talk about I'm so fat, there ought to be enough pieces to go around for everybody. <laughs> they ain't real <laughs> wrestling fans. Yeah, I know. They just... They like giving their town a bad name. Yeah, well, and all of us like that. There's a bunch of good wrestling fans here. We like to see you kick some of those smart asses' butts. Hey, that's the ones that we're up here for, is the real wrestling fans. Thank you. Yeah, man. Hello, you're on the air. Good morning, Rick. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How I you? can't wait till tomorrow night so I can see Vader rip Hulk Hogan apart. All right. I that's what you want. And Hulk Hogan, he's a phony. I, I, I hate him more than any other wrestler. He's just a phony. I can't stand him. I hope Vader rips him apart. I really do. I do too. I, I, Vader could try to pull his hair, but no good. Just keeps slipping off. Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't. I just don't like him. He's not a true love love of the wrestling. He just used that for a side show when he ain't making a movie or nothing. When he was on hiatus, then he goes back to wrestling. So he don't do it for the love of sport. And I just, I just hope Vader tears him up. Uh, he will. Uh, Y'all doing a good job, and I enjoy your show. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh, Thank bye. you. Hello, you on the air with Rick Diesel and Cheryl Day. Yeah, the woman that just called in must be an airhead. Vader is a meatball. Oh my God! Look, he's a meatball. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, y'all tickle me to death. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna ask you a question. We're gonna see how good your math is. This is hypothetical. All right. Say you and one of those other punks like uh, Sebastian Kane or what's his name, Havoc or whatever his punk his name is. Major Havoc. Let's say. You were in a tag team match okay. against Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. Right. You have 300 or 400 stitches, and how many total broken bones would you have after they were done with you? 
Well, considering Chuck Norris is 175 years old and Bruce Lee's dead, I think we'd stand a good chance. I'm saying if he was alive, punk, <laughs> and Chuck Norris kicked your butt any day. Those are the two baddest men to ever walk the earth. Deal with it. But Chuck Norris don't wrestle. That doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just saying, if this is hypothetical if they fought. Well, now, now, considering it's two different styles, okay, you got wrestling and, and, and you got guys, you know, Hard doing hard. stuff like this. The, I Keep mean... It. Yeah, kicking. Kicking. But, I mean... They gotta get you down first, though, right? Yeah, that's right. Right. That's it. It's so easy to take you guys down. You wouldn't stand But see, you gotta look at it this way. What if we could get quick enough to get past the kicks and the swinging the arms around like, a, you know, they got flies in their armpits. What if we was to get past that and get a wrestling hold on them? They couldn't kick us. You couldn't do it because Bruce Lee was the fastest ever. He'd have you down like that. Run Boom! Yeah. Boom! Yeah, but what? Well, that's right. He couldn't outrun death. He'd have to buy a ticket, too. What's up? He talking and about his my boy man. couldn't outrun a bullet. What? And his boy couldn't outrun a bullet. His son. That wasn't very funny. <laughs> I'm going to come up there and smack you up alongside your punk head. You talk about my boys like that again. Cable six. Yeah, I'll be up there, boy. Okay, bring a picture of your dead friends. Next caller. <laughs> Hello, you're on there. What's up, Mr. Diesel? What's going on? Oh, you remember me? I was the one that called in last week about that Hulk Hogan Bret Hart. Yeah, okay. Oh, I was, well, it's going to happen tomorrow night. Vader going to kill Hogan, man. Going to kill Hey, y'all ain't going to believe what's happening tonight. Now, this is why I've got the ladies on the show today, okay? All right, I said it last week. Tonight, all right, in Mount Airy, North Carolina, at the Old Jones School Gym, Mayberry Mayhem, all right? Uh -huh. We got Cheryl Day up here on the show. Going to bring Lady Stardust on here in a few minutes, you know. We got a bunch of girls matches on on uh, the show tonight in Mount Airy, man. It's gonna be unreal. It's eight o'clock, Old Jones School Gym. Oh, I was gonna say, did you ever hear about um, the um, special surprise Hulk Hogan's supposed to have coming down at ringside with him tomorrow night? I've heard rumors. Oh, you know who it is, don't you? Uh, I've heard rumors. No, I mean I I know who it definitely is. Ultimate well, Warrior. We know who that's definitely what I've, not. I, well, I mean, you know, I've heard rumors that it's Ultimate Warrior. Because um, this morning it was on wrestling. Um, Hulk Hogan was on there doing an interview and somebody was screaming in the background. Mm -hmm. It sounded like the ultimate war, just like. Well, it could be, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it, it's been known to happen that quick. Yeah, he's going to be killed. Yeah, I know. I mean, you got Flair and Vader in the other corner. What's Hogan and Warrior going to do with them? Yeah. You know? They hit Ultimate Warrior hard enough and steroids in his veins will pop. That'll be it. It'll be a big mess all over the floor. Yep. So. Hey man, thanks for calling. All right. All right. Yeah. Hello, you on there? Well, you know something, brother. You keep down at Hulk Hogan, man. Well, I tell you what, good. dude. Ric Flair and Va Vader is not gonna have a chance against the Hulkamania, brother. When it lets loose and runs all over you. It's gonna run wild. I tell you what, you got a nice looking lady there, and she doesn't need to be hanging out with the likes of you, because if you like Vader, then you're just sick. I do it for the money. They paid me to be here. That's right. That's right. We give her $35 and a bottle of vitamins. Well, all I got to say is, what you going to do when the Hulkster runs wild, brother? You. We forgot the rest of the scene. Vitty. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hello, you're on there. Hey, Rick. Hey. Tell me something. All right. Why, why does uh, Rick Flair had to wrestle three times before he wrestled Hogan? And why does Hogan, he don't defend the belt like every six months? Because Hogan ain't the caliber of champion that Rick Flair is. That's that simple. Rick Flair is the most dominant athlete in the sport of professional wrestling today. And Hulk Hogan, he's a wannabe. He never will be, even if he could be. That's right. Woo! That's right. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, what's up? What's going on? Hey, I got a question for you and the lovely lady next to you. Thank you. First, I got to say something. Don't right. be doing that to her now. <laughs> First of all, April 7th, Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh-huh. At Fighting Championship 5. Oh, are you right. serious? That's right. Horace Gracie will not fight in the tournament. He will have a special match in between the breaks against a surprise opponent, probably Kimo, the one that gave him a run for his money. Are you serious, man? Yep. April 7th. April 7th, 8 o'clock, Charlotte. Seven. Don't argue me. You say 6 or 7. 
27th. Okay. Now, a question for you. All right. What was that crap last week with that guy that rang announcer bringing a tape to one of the prizes closed from Walmart and stuff? He was trying to frame me for something that I know nothing about. There's a doctored tape. I don't know what was going on. I don't know where he got it at. I was nowhere in town when that happened. I was somewhere else. Yeah. I was. Why would someone be out there with the camera wanting to get an autograph of a referee that looks like a munchkin from the Wizard of Oz? Don't ask me. What's this up beating his hand? Was that the hand he uses to count you out? I don't know nothing about it. What are you doing out there with that mask on? That wasn't me! Put it back on. Look that was not me! Then who was it? I don't know. Dwight Braswell, he doctored that tape up. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know where he got it at. I, they told me that since Don Hopkins, that referee, was at a basketball game at night, the guys had been at the game filming the game because one of them's kid or something or somebody they knew was in the game playing. and. They seen Don Hopkins sitting in the crowd, and they waited for him outside the door. That's all I know. They're that's waiting that's, outside that's to get an auto autograph of a, a goofy-looking sucker like that. They must yeah, need to get a life. That's right. They need to get something. Now for the lady. Yes. Why don't you get away from that loser next to you and come out with the real man? I'll take you, and we'll paint the town, honey. Because you look right. like the Who's sunshine. I'm trying to talk, Diesel. You look like the sunshine on a waterfall in the sky. Springtime, baby. Thank you. Yeah, I see y'all. That's a Bye. trout mooning you. What? That's a trout mooning you. Uh, ma'am, why don't you just go ahead and slap him up alongside the face? You can't do that. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the king of Martin. He's bigger. I am the king of Martin. They're going to bring me a throne in here and get me a crown, a scepter. I understand you can't slap him because you don't want to get crap on your hand. That's right. We'll just, we'll just let him go. Thank you for the compliment. Yes, ma'am. Sunshine on a waterfall. It's a trout mooning him. Hello, you're on there. You're big ugly stinking face. I know that call was for you. How do you know? You don't know that call was for me. That call could have been for you. No. You're a trout mooning there. Hello, you're on there. No, you're a trout man. I know I that was take for it. you. No, I wouldn't take it. No, that you. was for you. That was for you, Diesel. Tell him. Y'all ought not talk to me like that. Y'all realize I am, I'm, I am the king of Martinsville. I'm getting tired of having to tell you people that. Rick Diesel, king of Martinsville. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. See? I don't know. I can't handle it. Hello, you're on there. This is Lex Loger, the total package. I'm t I hear you've been talking about me on the air. That's not. No, it's not. He, I mean, you know, he's... It's, it's, these people have fantasies about being pro wrestlers. Oh. And that's how they act them out. They call in. I'm the man. I'm the man that took Flair down. I'll take them all down. Okay. Now, well, we're going to bring them all on. Well, talk to me, Christmas present. <laughs> Christmas present, huh? Yeah, you think you're funny. You say I'm flabby, but I'm built like a rock. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> well, what's, the, uh, what's that big popular rock I got up here in Virginia? <clears throat> Fairy Stone. Is that the big rock that looks like it's got a bull around its ball? Uh -huh. yeah. He's built like a fairy stone. I'm a I'm fairy gonna... stone. I'm going to take that lady there. She's going to be my tag team partner, and we're going to whip you up, boy. All right. Yeah. Lord, how much. She ain't going to make it past Lady Stardust tonight, okay? I'll have her on the show here in a little bit, and y'all get to hear what she got to say. Hello, you're on there. I ain't Rick Charles. <laughs> that you, Muttley? <laughs> I'm going to kick your butt. It sounds like you got a feather in yours. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Rick. What's going on? You'd be a right handsome looking guy if you'd take that mask off and quit and let get in behind it. Who you talking about? I'm talking to you. I ain't got no mask on. What the world? Uh, you ain't got no mask on. Well, you don't look the same as you did when I seen you the other day. That's a scuffling hillbilly. This is a witness. Uh, so this is Boogie Woogie's partner. Boogie Woogie. The Boogie Woogie the man. Original uh, Boogie Woogie Rick man? can't handle him. That's, that's Boogie Woogie's partner. That's right, Boogie the hillbilly. Woogie. Boogie You're Woogie. who? The Scuffling Hillbilly. That's the Scuffling Hillbilly. I Hi. like him. Hey, hey he called hey, him Rick. and throw off on me, but I like this guy. Hey, hey I got a question for you, He Rick. was going to uh, throw me a party one night. Hey, yeah. Hey, Rick, got yeah. a question for you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Hey, uh, do y'all have a, a gym or something uh, in Martinsville where you can work out at? Uh, no, we sure don't. Wish we did. 
But when I mean, you know, when we gonna get that set up? We're gonna try to get some shows coming up here right now. We're booked up like every weekend for uh, up and through into May. Yeah. Right now, you know, doing shows in North Carolina area. But we're gonna be bringing up here to Martinsville for long. Don't you think that'd be a good idea to get a gym in uh, Martinsville and get the young boys and get them all interested in wrestling and bring some new talent in? Yeah. Uh, and get somebody like you and me to uh, uh, teach the boys how to wrestle. Yeah, we could do it. Uh, don't you think that'd be real smart? Mm-hmm. Then we could get these good-looking ladies like you have there beside of you to kind of coach you. us along and bring us a towel like every now and then. They have good time. Now, wouldn't that sound great? Yeah, I could go for that. Yeah, I would too. I'd go for that. Then we get down and party after, well, after mean, dark. Uh, you know, she's okay. Yeah, she's, she's okay good looking. She's you. okay. Woo! I'm not Woo! blonde. Boy, Rick Flyer ain't got a thing on you, has he? Not nothing. Hey, hey, hey Rick's got the, hey, Rick has got the women too, ain't he? That's right. I'm going to tell you. Well, Rick, it's I just thought I had to holler at you, buddy. And one of these days, me and you may uh, tie horns together. You never know, man. Side wrestling. My guest at right this time is the one and only Cheryl Day. Hello, Virginia. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, I'd like a medium hand tossed cheese lovers pizza with pepperoni and pork sausage, a large Pepsi. And I'm warning you, if you put anchovies on it this time, I'm gonna hurt you. Wow. <laughs> okay, excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I should. Hello, Domino's. I'd like a medium hand tossed cheese lovers pizza with pepperoni and pork sausages and a large Pepsi. And I'm warning you, if you put anchovies on this time, I'm going to hurt you. Hey, you done good. Did you have it wrote down? No, I'll need to like you do. <laughs> Ma'am? Yes? I'd like to wrestle you, and I'd like to tell you, you could pin me anytime, honey. Thank you. Mm. You could pin me anytime. <laughs> what, are you going to hit me his pants? See? Hello, you're on there. Hey, I got a song for you. You want me to sing it? Sure. Oh, they ain't got no dirty words in it. You fat and smelly. They're too good now. Is that it? Your breath stinks. Your breath stinks. They got some up here. I'm sitting close to you. You fat nut. 
Yeah, what would you make you? <laughs> Go get screwed somewhere. And you know what's so funny? What? It probably took him three months to write that song. <laughs> Hello, you're on there. Can you hold on for a minute? Yeah. She's gonna keep going home. They gonna, nah, they gonna do something funny, listen. We're waiting. I'm a timing you. I hear, I hear farm animals in the background. Sound like geese. I don't know what that was. Farm animals. They like farm animals. Yeah. Hello, you're on there. I'm coming to the AIWF to dominate. And you are? The Dynamo from Ohio. The Dynamo, Dynamo from Ohio. Personally. Oh. I'll give you my spinning back kick and it will all be over. That's How do you make your back spin? Ma'am, do you Is know... Is it like break dancing? Yes. Could you tell me if he has any intelligence whatsoever, or is he just this stupid all-time? He's smart enough to get on TV. He's a stupid all-time. That's what I figured. I'm he smart is. enough to get on TV. Do you not realize I am the king of Martinsville? But he doesn't get paid for it. Rick Diesel, king of Martinsville. I'm so I'm glad he's y'all's. i here, put a crown on my head, scepter, scantily clad women, blondes, sitting around my feet all the time. Blondes. Blondes. That gives you the cue. Will you listen here, Queenie? Queenie? Yeah. That's yours. I'll crown your head. What do you want, Joker? I'm going to take you down with my spinning back kick. That's that break dancing move you do, right? Excuse me? How do you make your back spin? I mean, is it a break dance thing? I bet you just it's, lay on the floor and just spin around, can't you? It's a power kick. And power you kick. Back up. Well, you got to plug it in. Man, I tell you what. It's got 30 day warranty. Yeah, it probably doesn't run out. Okay. Star talent. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hello, you're on there. Yeah, I heard that uh, Magnum T.A. was making a comeback. No, I doubt it, man. I doubt don't it. think so. I don't think so. He's too messed mm -hmm. up. What, what about superstar Billy Graham? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. come on. Oh, he's the man. You know better than that. I heard you're going to wrestle King Kong Bundy. <laughs> Billy Graham ain't going to come back. He's a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Graham's preacher. Billy Graham. Yeah. Superstar. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, you're on here. You think, are you any good? Have you ever had a belt? I'm the best. I'm wearing a belt right now. Yeah. Probably one you bought at the store. Well, actually, yeah. See? Belt. Where are my britches at? Where you hold yours up to? The rope? Punk. Punk. There's that name again. Well, see, one person called in one day and called me King a punk, punk, and see, the rest of them can't think of nothing new to say, so they just keep stealing each other's line. Well, Virginia, I wouldn't take that. She would. Yeah. Okay, dokie. Hello, you're on the air. I'm smart enough to get on TV. I am, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, what, are you trying to say I'm on radio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Cause I'm stupid. <laughs> and I believe you. <laughs> yeah, your mama. Mama probably be smart enough to get on TV too, but I bet you think she's on the radio. Hello, you on the air? Hey, Rick. What's going on, bro? Uh, what's going on, man? Uh, I said nice young lady over there, Cheryl Day. How are you, man? Fine, thank you. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, a while back, uh, I've been a wrestling fan for a while. Didn't you used to wrestle in California for yes, Mildred Burke? Sure did. I was just wondering, I, I, I had some of the old films, and I was looking, there was a girl who used to wrestle a whole lot named Casey Carr. What She's in happened? Florida. Huh? She's in Florida. She's still wrestling. I just wondered, y'all used to really have some good matches on, on there. Okay. Yeah, I enjoyed working with Casey. Yeah, and, um, and Rick, got a question for you, bud. All right. Uh, what do you think about them reforming the horsemen with Dustin Rose as one of them? I like that. Well, he'd have to do a real big attitude change. Yeah. Well, they thinking it might be Arn Anderson and Steve Austin with uh, Dustin or Vader and Ric Flair. Arn, Rick, Steve Austin, either Dustin or, or Vader. Well, i tell you what I've heard, all right? Mm -hmm. I've heard it, it would be Flair, mm -hmm. Arn, Vader, mm -hmm. and Tully Blanchard coming back. Well, that would be nice too. I'd like to see him come back. Uh, if he's uh, 
in shape. I look like he's a little out of shape in ECW, what I'm saying. Well, I haven't seen none of his matches in ECW yet, but I was down in Charlotte mm-hmm. uh, back in, I think it was like September, mm-hmm. the first part of September of last year. Mm-hmm. And I was down there at Ivan Koloff's gym and Tully right. was down there doing some workouts. Mm-hmm. You know, he had some rust on him, but he was he was working out that night. And I sat there and watched him, and he done pretty good. Yeah, I, I got oh, another yeah. little uh, thing I want to tell you about. You know that amateurs can't wrestle was up here a while yeah, back? Yeah, I remember them. Okay, you know the guy in the main event, Curtis Hurston, you know, Bone Crusher? Yeah. I seen him on WWF wrestling under Curtis Hurston, you know, like in the lower matches. Yeah. He wrestled up. Uh, what's the guy? Anvil? Yeah. He didn't even land a punch against the man. Well, see, that's the kind of people that the Amateurs can't wrestle for the rest of the I life. mean, they lost to uh, Owen Hart the same way. I said, man, come on. He can do a little better than that. Well, I know Bone Crusher. I've known him for a while, and he does pretty good. I mean, you know, he's hooked up with these these other guys, and I don't know why. Maybe, you know. Maybe y'all try to sign him and get him over with y'all. Hey, don't, don't get me wrong now. We'd like to have a bone crush come over and do some shows, especially with and, uh, Let me tell you one last thing. That girl right there sitting beside, she can wrestle. She's Thank wrestled you. men before. I've seen her whoop some men, too. Oh, you have those films, too? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know you was in there. And, I mean, she don't play. She yeah. gets in there and gets rough. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all have a good day. You, too. All right. Thanks a lot, bro. Hello, you're on the air. That was a wrestling fan yeah. right now. Go all the way back to Milter birthdays. Yeah. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, I got two questions for you. One, I thought uh, uh, Telly Blanchard was a preacher. I didn't know he had come back to wrestling. Well, he still preaches. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but he's he's get, he's been back in the ring for about six months now. Oh, really? That's great. Mm-hmm. I, I really enjoyed watching him wrestle. He was a good he was a good one. Uh, he's been doing some stuff with ECW now. Uh, he's been talking to the WCW. I don't know how far it's went, but he also uh, does some work with Jim Crockett down in Texas. Is that right? Is Crockett out of Carolina? No, Crockett's down in Texas now. Oh, you remember really? Global? Who? You remember the Gro- Global Wrestling Federation? You still on ESPN? Yeah, vaguely. Well, I Crockett has took over their building, the Sportatorium. I mean, you know, he's directing shows there now. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, all right. Other thing, I remember when Magnum T.A. had his car wreck a few years ago. It hurt him real bad. Now, mm-hmm. how's he doing now? Uh, he's still, I mean, he could, his wrestling career is over. I mean, he's, he's healthy mentally and everything, but, and inside, but his body's still pretty well crippled up. Oh, really? Unfortunately, yeah. Well, he, he was a good one too, you know, it, it was a shame to see. He was still, he had a lot of years in front of him, I think. Yeah, he's greatly missed. Yep, he sure is. But, uh, I, I like to see y'all get Telly Blanchard or somebody to come up here and wrestle. That'd, that'd be a treat. Hey, now, don't get me wrong now, I mean, you know, Ivan Koloff, Bobby Fulton of the Fantastics, Wahoo, they've all worked with us. We bring in those those guys like that every once in a while. Yeah, well, I hope y'all get him up here. I'd like I'd like to see him. I ain't seen him. I I don't believe I ever saw him wrestle live. But, he's uh, he's a he's a very nice man. He is. I've never met him. He seemed like a big jerk when he was with the Horseman. Maybe that was just an act. Yeah, it's just I mean it's it's ring presence. You know that's what that is. All right, when you when you in that ring. You're in there for yourself or you and your tag team partner. You know, if Try. you have to do, if you have to bend the rules to win, if you feel like that's what you need to do, then you do it. If you feel like the fans are more important, I mean, it's just all you know, all your attitude once you step through those ropes. Mm-hmm. And somebody like him, it would seem like a meanest guy in the world would be real nice. And then I've heard that, like, like flying Brian, you know, he, he's a jerk, you know, when you meet him. I, I don't know. I've never met him, but I've heard people say that now. Lex Luger too, but he ain't nothing anyway. Hey, hey, brother, got to take commercial, man. Thanks for calling. All right, take Bye-bye. Care. We'll be right back with Lady Stardust. A lot of activity going on in this little yellow building on North Daniels Creek Road. Tax season is here, and Road Tax on North Daniels Creek Road is prepared to deal with your tax returns. They're fast, dependable and experience to deal with the ever-changing tax laws. Remember the little yellow building on North Daniels Creek Road is Martinsville and Henry County's tax center. A visit is guaranteed to save you money. Road tax on North Daniels Creek Road. I was in the hospital for 18 months. My bills piled up, but as it turned out, I didn't have to worry about it. I knew there were good attorneys because they were there when I needed them and they explained it to me 
and then they got me the settlement that I thought I deserved. Would I recommend Chandler Franklin and O'Brien? I have, and I'll continue to. Here's how it works. It begins with a phone call. Say you've been hurt. It could be on the job, at home, on the road. You've been injured, and it wasn't your fault. And now you need some help to make your way through the maze of insurance settlements, medical bills. So you call us. The call's free, and we'll do what we do to get you the help you deserve. We understand that life can be unfair, but we also know just what to do when it is. If you or someone you love has been injured, call Chandler, Franklin, and O'Brien. I was in the hospital for 18 months. My bills piled up. But as it turned out, I didn't have to worry about it. I knew they were good attorneys because they were there when I needed them and they explained it to me. And then they got me the settlement that I thought I deserved. Would I recommend Chandler Franklin and O'Brien? I have, and I'll continue to. Man, Lady Stardust. Unfortunately, she's been sitting out in the car for the last 30 minutes waiting on Cheryl Day to leave. I don't anyway. know why they won't let me come in. Well, they didn't want you to, I mean, you know, there's a lot of expensive equipment in here. They didn't want you slapping her around in here and breaking something. Hello, you on there? I'm Forrest Gump, and I believe I can take you. Where you gonna take me, out deep? No. Take me to a Chinese restaurant. I like Chinese food, so if you're gonna take me anywhere, take me to a Chinese restaurant. I mean, I'll eat steaks, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I don't pass up a good steak. If you're gonna take me anywhere, take me out deep. I got to. Buy me some new clothes. Hello, you on there? Yeah, I believe I seen you last night. Slipping out to the hen house, you weasel, you. All right, and we'll not have that. Weasel. Shut up. Weasel. Shut up. I got a 12-gauge shotgun for you, weasel. Yeah, well, I bet your sights is off. Hello, you on there? There's a wrestler named Ric Flair. He likes to dye his hair. He likes to slap. He looks like crap, but fight me, he wouldn't dare. Yeah, we like that one. Are you getting better? Let me talk to that thing over there. Sure they left. Ma'am? Sure they left. Ma'am? Sure they left. I'm talking to you. He called that, you I want to know, did you get all your shots yet? Are you out of the kennel yet? Well, I'll tell you. Sounds like one of them hot their leg on you. Uh-huh. You said it smells like it. I bet you live horse pasture, don't you? What? You live horse pasture, don't you? No, I don't think so. We no, he just goes through there three times a day with his nose to the ground. I was just going to say, I think that's where she came from. You got a little bit on your, your lips still, honey. Get some of that grass. You might want to get it off there. Damn, you ugly. How dare him call me ugly on... Well, they can do that when they hang out. Hey, that's true. What'd you say? Who's that beside you? Oh, her? Yeah. That's Lady Stardust. She's a friend of mine. Lady Stardust. Lady. Is that Lady Meyer's daughter? <laughs> Who? Lady Meyer's daughter. Who's Lady Meyer? Lady Meyer. Is that, is that his daughter? No. I don't think so. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> my friend has something ah. to say, okay? That scared me. That's a scuffling hillbilly. Hey, my friend has something to say, okay? All right. Rick! What? I tell you what, man. That's a good looking lady you got sitting there beside you. Thank you. She can probably back a pit bull out of a meat truck. <laughs> I thought y'all lady, man, lady. See, but, see that, but yeah, no, 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 just wait a minute, okay? You have got to take into consideration what these people have to deal with up here. You know, they're comparing you. See, now they're having a beauty contest up here before too much longer. And I seen all the contestants down here preparing for it the other day. Had them corralled in, had the fence around them. Collars on. Yeah. Had to give them the rabies shots. Hello, you on there. Hey, that guy that called in and said she was ugly. Uh huh. It sounds like he works at Kmart. <laughs> he probably, he probably does. does. Waste <laughs> control. <laughs> hey, see ya. Thanks a lot. Hello, you on there. Hey. Hey. I'd like to have a tag team match with you. I'll tell you who my partner be, and we take on you two. Okay. Give me Larry Myers. Let me see old Larry Myers up there. <laughs> Look at that. That's a real man right there. Hey, Larry, 
you me tag team, we'll take them on. That's the scuffling hill. I kind of like to call him a scuffling hillbilly. Scuffling hillbilly. Now, I ain't got no problem with him, okay? Because he was going to throw me a big party up here one time. We just ain't got all the details worked out yet. Look, look, at, look, there comes Larry. There he comes. There he comes. Look at him on the screen. Yeah, there, that's, that's better right there. That's my buddy. Hey, what did that guy say about that lady? About, something about a... What was that comment that idiot made? He don't know. He don't know what he's doing. Hey, ma'am, don't let him talk you like that. You are a pit bull. Ah! See a, how they do? A pample. Let's see, now listen. See, they'll call in and they'll say that and they'll hang up real quick. Because they know I get them. They won't say it to your face. That's right. Hello, you're on the air. <laughs> Glad I ain't got my smell of phone put in yet. Somebody Hello, give me a clothespin. Rick. Yeah, man. What is that thing sitting beside you? This is a lady. That's lady. Lady. Lady stardust. stardust. Lady stardust. Stress the word lady in That's quotation right. marks. Look at that picture on her shirt. It looks about like her. Well, no, Taz looks better than her. Hey, wait a minute. Taz is a tornado. That's right. I'm, just like I'm going to tear like Cheryl Day up. By a tornado. Just like I'm going to tear Cheryl Day up tonight. It matter. That's right. Cheryl Day said, I mean, you know, they had to keep this lady locked up in the car with security guards standing so she wouldn't come in here and well, they supposed whirl to, in through here trying to kill Cheryl keep Day. Monkeys locked up. My car is full of body bags that you, they're going to need to put her in whenever I get through with her. That's right. That's a lot of body bags. You, you ought to be able to beat her. Do what? Like me too, Rick. Who? You. I'm a king of marks, but I'm hey, pretty the prettiest place guy up here. You people, you people, you people ought to be privileged to have somebody building. like me come up here and sit and come into your living room live and in color, looking so fine. Women sitting over there. Those would like to laugh at you. Which they do that a lot anyhow, but now they got a reason. You know what look good in your mouth? I ain't talking about a lollipop either. And what, your wife's lips? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you on there? Rick D. What's going on? Not much, man. Hey, we know you the King of Martins, Liz. I am the King of Martins. Well, I'm going to bring me a throne in here, crown, scepter, scantily clad women sitting at my feet. Hey, don't worry about all them other people. They're just calling up, taking air time, trying to get on TV. Nah, that's okay. I mean, that's what I'm here for. They'll call in, get their frustrations out on. I mean, I, they don't bother me. They can nah. call in, say anything they want to. I just sit back here and wait. I won't want to call until you got a true lady out there. There she is. Thank you very much. All right, we'll let y'all go. Just don't let me get to you this morning. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, brother. That guy's Hello. got taste. Hey, there is some very intelligent, nice people up here. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, you see, when the other woman was out there, you see, you had to keep her locked up. The security guards had to keep her down in the car, lock her up. I think you looked at the uniform wrong. That was animal control. Make sure she doesn't bite more people, give them rabies like she gave my dog. I had to no. give him a damn shot. Hey, they were trying to give Cheryl her rabies shot so I wouldn't get it tonight. Man, right. what you talking about? Well, it's sort, well, of, you. it's sort of like isolation, you know? She's not going to bite them, but she might bite me tonight, and I sure don't want rabies. Let me tell you, she was fine. If she was mine, mm. Well, la di da You can pick up you the... You look like it, too. You can pick up the pieces tonight afterwards. That's right. Put them all back together. If you can get them all back in the same place. <laughs> Y'all look alike anyhow. <laughs> uh, you mean that guy next to you? No, I'm talking about Cheryl Day. I think that's a guy right there. You know. Hey, let me tell you something. I ain't no guy. That's right. You look like it. And I got she is other woman. Day. Hear her roar. Yeah, you got that right. She roars. She, yeah, you need to put her in the zoo. <clears throat> Come on down to the zoo. And I know uh, they might have to fumigate it before I can get in there. You... Well, it would have fumigated Bad. afterwards, so what's the difference? Yeah, what? Before, after. what was that? I said we might have fumigated it after you leave, but what's the difference? Right. We might get a better deal, two right. for one. She'll throw you a banana. Uh, that's all right. She can stay in the cage with all the monkeys herself. And the well, why don't you come on down any. and listen to this woman roar tonight? Yeah, well, just, just make sure you get a rabies shot. Just make sure you've had all your shots. Hello, you're on the air. Rick, what can you tell me about a new wrestling federation? I seen it last Saturday night from 11 to 12 on the Reedsville station. It's called the AWF. It uh, had Sergeant Slaughter, Chris Adams, uh, the Warlord. Uh, it had uh, Tommy Wildfire Rich. Do you know anything about these guys? No. No, but it, I mean, it sounds interesting if, if they, you know, if they're out there and they're serious and they got that kind of talent. 
Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering because that was the first time I'd seen the uh, the league come on, and uh, I just thought maybe you might give me some input on it. Cause no, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll check into it and see if I can't, you know, tell you a little bit more about it maybe on a later show. Okay, thank you, Rick. All right, bro. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, Rick. Hey. Uh, I'd like to talk to Lady Stardust. Right here she is. Right here she is. How you doing? Just fine. How are you? I think you're one of the best damn looking things in Martinsville. Thank you. Uh, so when, when's the next time you're going to wrestle? They wrestling tonight, brother. Tonight In Mount Airy. In Mount Airy, they're wrestling tonight at the old Jones School Gym. Oh, there's a bunch of damn rednecks down there. That's right. That's right. Hey, don't get me wrong. They, they're plenty of rednecks down there. <laughs> Tell you what, look like somebody run through with a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. All right, man. Thank you. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, Mr. Diesel. What's going on? Hey, Stardust. Yeah. Hey, have you ever considered going to WWF and um, challenging Lunder Blaze and Bull Nakano and all them? They don't want to wrestle me. I mean, I know you can beat them. Well, of course. Yeah, you kill them. But they are. Uh, scared. You know, it's sort of like they back up. They are, they're scared. But, let, but let, me, let me put it to you this way. All right, I am sure that when, I'm not saying if, but when the offer comes down, she'll be ready to go. She won't turn it down. I know she won't. Uh, she won't back will. down from no fight. I know she won't, but they probably will. Already have. That, to be honest with you, that may be why the offer ain't come yet. Yeah. I mean, they may be trying to send the offer out, and the launder blades may be up there going, Oh, God, no, please, not her. You're yeah. messing my pretty face. Yeah. If she had one. If she had one. Oh, but anyways, don't pay attention to some of these people in Morrisville. Oh, I don't. I see, mean, it's, it's, I think it's embarrassing to, you know, the people, you know, that call in, you know, um, civil mind, not the ones that pretend to be left blue or buy back on or anything. Yeah, they can't be their self why they want to be at all. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm telling you, man, hey, you know why I can put up with callers like that? Why? Because I know I got callers like you, too. That's right. That makes it worth waiting for. All right. Thanks a lot, bro. Then start us. Yes. Good luck tonight. Thank you. All right. All right. Hey, we got to take commercial. We'll be right back with more with Lady Stardust. Roger has moved to 228 Bridge Street. You know, that's the road between Hardee's and Williamsburg Cafeteria. Is Roger still doing up Hall Street? You bet he is. He's one of the area's best. He's also expanded. He's now doing seat covers, headliners, door panels, carpet, vinyl tops, and more. He also has a huge selection of fabric. Roger has moved. You can find him in that cute little white building under the bridge on Bridge Street. Roger's the best. These dramatic pictures tell the story. Before and after, you can see Roger is the best. Give him a call at 638-4011. Holland Bookkeeping and Tax, known around the region as the best, fastest, and most skilled. Holland is prepared to deal with the IRS. For skillful representation, Holland Bookkeeping and Tax. Holland Bookkeeping and Tax is equipped with skilled consultants, armed with over 14 years of experience, and the latest state-of-the-art computers that talk directly to the IRS. For professional tax services, come to Holland's Bookkeeping and Tax. When the W-2s start arriving, think Holland Bookkeeping and Tax. They can lead you through all the red tape. Their goal is to receive the highest refund possible in the shortest period of time. Holland Bookkeeping and Tax will fight for you. For quality, dependable service, and professional representation, give us a call. For skillful representation after the filing, it's always Holland Bookkeeping and Tax. I chose Holland Bookkeeping and Tax because they're professional and they know what they're doing. At Holland, you can expect to get in and out in less than 30 minutes. For dependable quality service and professional representation, call us. Holland Bookkeeping and Tax, 638-1040. Holland offers computerized, prepared federal and state returns, electronic filing, refund anticipation loans, full service accounting, payroll reports, W-2s, and a full line of business as well as clerical services. For skillful representation, it's always Holland Bookkeeping and Tax. 
Located at 106 Fayette Street, right across the street from Cousins Life Smith. Holland Bookkeeping and Tax, 638-1040. For skillful representation, Holland Bookkeeping and Tax. What's going on, Martinsville? We're right back here with Lady Stardust. Now, I just want a lot of y'all to know that tonight's match is a rematch, okay? About a year ago, in Trinity, North Carolina, we had the Carolina Clash. An all-girls show, PGWA and AIWF went in together and done a, the Carolina Clash. And these two, Lady Stardust and Cheryl Bay, had a match. And it just, I mean, you was there, I was there. Tonight, rematch. You know, it's what it is. Drudge match, call it what you want to. Call it what you want to. But, but I'm going to take her down and I'm going to tear her apart. That's right. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, let me talk to the gargoyle next to you. Did you say you were a gargoyle? No, you are. You think you're pretty slick, don't you, honey? I knew it was you. I knew Whoa! it was you. Yeah, she's slick. Slick as a pale onion. That smell like too. I knew you were at my you're, place. You're smelling your upper lip. That's funny. Yeah, right. I knew you were at my place today because I walked out in the yard and I stepped in one of your big turds out in the yard. You there think? You go. Hey, hey, wait a minute. That was you. That is some nasty language. It sure is, and I'd appreciate it. I'm a lady. That's right. A lady? A lady. Lady, lady, lady stardust. 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 Okay. Let me ask you, how many bales of hay do you consume in a day? Not half as many as you do. Like she lives in horse pasture. You gotta come back with something better than that. Dude. Like she lives in horse pasture. He is a horse, but he's the north end of the horse going south. Man, if my dog looked like you, I'd shave his butt and make him if walk my, backwards. If your dog looked like me, you wouldn't be on the phone right now. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. If your dog looked like her, she wouldn't have married you to start with. Oh, oh, yeah. Now you cross the line. Your bark is loud, but your bite ain't vicious. Yeah, like I'd bite something like Wait, that. Wait till I bite you. Let me tell you, the best bark you can come up with is what you shave off a tree in the front yard. <laughs> Pretty boy. Hey, look here. Special events magazine all right it's a monthly magazine you want y'all want to get hooked up with this it's nothing but women's wrestling keep you up to date tell you everything you want to know all the big stars anybody who's anybody in the sport of women's professional wrestling is in this book we'll get them to put the uh the address to where you can hook up with one of these newsletters okay at the end of the show we'll put the address on there y'all can write them anything you want to know about women's wrestling anybody who's anybody it's right there well, where am I at in it? Hello, you're on the air. You're in there. Don't you worry. Why do you think you can beat everybody? I've never said I could beat everybody. People's called in, they've asked me, can you beat Lex Luger? I said, I'd give him a run for his money. Can you beat Hulk Hogan? I said, I'd give him a run for his money. I ain't never once said I could beat him. But they ain't never showed up either. That's right. I guarantee you, if I'm on one. Is that a 30-day guarantee or a 60-day guarantee? Shut up with your smart mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. But she is ugly. I'd hate to claim her as my mama. Well, you're the one on the phone. I'm the one on TV. I can't see what your ugly face looks like. That's right. I know you ain't talking. Only the best sits with the King of Martins. That's right. I know you ain't talking about nobody up there. Up where? Ain't nobody up here, but that's Cheryl Day that's done right. gone. Cheryl Day done run. You, that's my mama's good friend, and I know you can't beat her because... And you talking about you can rip her apart? You gotta be. I can rip her apart in a New York minute. Your why, mama, do, why do you think she no left? New York minute. Why do you think she left? She didn't leave. Your mom's from Tennessee. She left. Your mom's from Tennessee. Yes. What? Apparently. You're Don't worry about it if she is. Oh, well, I just wondered, cause I mean, you know, if she, if she gonna go Cheryl Day, she gotta be from where Cheryl Day hangs out. Duh. Duh. The pig pen. You need to be in a you pig pen. You sound like the yours. pig pen. Well, hey, let me tell you something. Every inch of me is quality. Lady. Quality. Quality. Quality is job one. Quality. That's fast. right. Quantity makes no difference. That's right. It's the quality of the quantity that counts. What? 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 You haven't asked somebody else what to say? Can't you think of nothing? Get off your face. I'm not. Get off your face. Oh, she's the north end of that horse going south. I don't know. I know you ain't talking about no your big self sitting up there. Well, hey, this big self can tear. Cheryl Day apart, and if you want to come up there, we can get it on too. Yes. You're all stupid if you didn't know it. 
Do what? No, we're so stupid, we're on TV. You are stupid. I'm a, I'm a stew so stupid, I'm on TV, I'm a king of Martinsville. You wish you could. I know I am. Might be the king of where you come from, but you ain't from up here. I'm a king of Martinsville. I'm a king everywhere I go. You crazy. What's the point? You stupid is what the point. Oh, well, what's the point? Well, you sound like you're stupid, too. You look like something up there chewing that bubble gum. Ain't bubble gum. It's dentine. It sounds like, smells like you need some, too. I mean, it's plumbed through the phone line. Smell a phone. You better get you Smell a sensor phone. then. Smell a phone. A sniffer? Well, are you, are you available? You need to take that pad off your shirt because you're giving him a bad reputation. Hmm. Well, I think I'm I'm pretty good influence on some people's reputations. An ugly reputation. I I hate I hate if you have a kid because I wouldn't claim you. She don't. Hello, you're on there. You know what, Rick? You are the king of Martinsville. I am the king. Thank you, brother. Idiot, Mark Martinsville weasel. Hey, that's you know what they say. Don't take a whole lot to be the king of fools. <laughs> Hello, you're on there. Rick. Yeah, bro. This is Renato. I tell you what, you were looking so sexy on that. Renato. <laughs> Renato. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> come down and eat you up. It's, Jesus it's Renato. Is I right, what are you a Ford Renato? No. Don't get silly with me. You four door, two door, Stop six cylinder. Silly. I bet you got gas too. <laughs> He may be fuel injected, you never know. Yeah, he's injected with something. He's talking like he needs a front end alignment. <laughs> <laughs> I think his bands is broke. It's broke. His <laughs> suspension let down. Come on, stop. Hey, your wheels out of line, boy. <laughs> One of your cylinders is loose. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hey, I just want you to know you... Give some new gaskets. <laughs> You're blowing off of the mouth. This is a <laughs> Give me the phone. Uh, Jesus. Think you need a new air filter. Rick, I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna see you. Well, come well, on down and there. just and see I'm it. I see that thing beside you too, because she's not stealing my man. I'm here for all to see. Rick, your privilege. What about last night, Rick? <laughs> well, the last time he's up on the rack, there, Jose Granado. Rick. He told me I was the only one for you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Please. Just Please. Just give me one more chance. Please. He's even begging. <laughs> After what you did to me last night, Rick, I just, I just can't go on What did I do? Adjust your brakes. <laughs> blew, his, blew his master cylinder. A master cylinder? <laughs> Now that I put a few of his plug wires. Yeah. I ain't never in my life. But you, but you will happen tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rick, I guess it's over between us, isn't it? Okay, hey, it ain't easy to get something over never started. <laughs> hey, nut. How can you lie on television like this for all these people? It's just not fair. It's not fair. I was fine loving more. <laughs> Tell you what, you contemplate it for a while, <laughs> and we're gonna get on with straight collars. <laughs> they all hung up. Lord, Lord, hello, you're on the air. I think that guy kind of liked you. <laughs> I'm gonna hook you up with him. I think I think a guy's front end was out of line. He, he didn't know whether he's going front with or back with. <laughs> hook you up with him. Hey, uh, ma'am. Yes. I sure do feel sorry for that piece of bubble gum and that nasty mouth. Well, that bubble gum sitting in there just saying thank you, thank you every time I chew. Yeah, you can hear it. We it's got her. Popping it a, off. a few callers ago, excuse me, I'm trying to talk. A few callers ago, she said it. We got, she said, you just wait until I bite you. I told you she had rabies. No, I've had Hi, my people. shots. It's not me that's in danger. Well, somebody here wants to talk to you. Hold on. Hmm. Good day, Mike. Mike. Good day, Mike. Who's Mike? Here, you bloody twit. I'll kick your bloody butt. Hey, your phone's cutting out. You can't get all your words out. <laughs> you don't want to mess with the English assassin, you bloody twit. The oh. English what? <laughs> he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's the English ass assassin talking with an Australian accent. Real <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's because I'm um, both. Yeah. You're what? Was your mama or your daddy the kangaroo? Up English, you bloody twit. No, the other was a German shepherd. <laughs> yeah, you all know about that, honey. Pit bull. Hey, 
I'll tell you what. I, I just wouldn't worry about my ancestors if I were you. You need to get hooked up with Jose Granada. <laughs> Called there a while ago. Y'all could line up each no. other's front ends. No, I don't want to take your man from you. <laughs> oh, he didn't Lord. sound too much like a man. No, he didn't. Your bark is loud. <laughs> Bite <ain't> vicious. <laughs> oh, Lord, your bark is still on the tree. Hello, yeah. you on there. Yeah, where'd that other girl go? Cheryl Day. She left. She yeah, scared she of left, me. Man. Are they getting ready to wrestle at the end of this show? No, nah, she's several days done gone. The, they won't be wrestling until tonight in Manor. That's when it's all going to break loose. They ain't going to fight. No, nah, not today, man. Cheryl Day's done left. They would not let both of them in the building at the same time. They m stood around the car. I couldn't get out of either door. Shut up. I'm not shutting up. I don't want to talk to you. I well, why don't you come through the... Why don't you just come on through the phone and make me uh, shut up? Can't do it, can you? Up. Can't make me shut up, can you? I call in here and try to talk to Rick and some fool won't get on here. Okay, go ahead. And I want to know if I put a boot in her head, will she shut up? Nope. I mean, she's cool. She's cool. She under, she thought you was just another one of these old mouthy talkers that, that calls in here all the time. Rick, when I call on this phone, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to no fool. That's okay, bro. That's okay, bro. We know. That's all right, man. Go ahead. I'll talk to you. He's cool, man. I like him. Yeah. He always calls. He talks good about it. He's well, he cool. sure didn't talk good to me. Shut up. That's because you just wrecked him while he's trying to talk to me. Rick, we know you're the king. King of Martin. Yeah. When y'all gonna get some shows up here? I wanna come see you, man. Hey, man, it won't be long. We're working on it. About I'm this serious. summertime, we'll... maybe. Yeah, it, it'll be. It'll be by this summer. Because we're working on it, man. It's hard as we can go. Like I said, we're booked up. <coughs> uh, our shows are booked up all the way into May now. To be honest with you, so you know it's gonna be it's simply for other book obligations. It'll be a while. Get that fool back in the zoo. I'm sick of looking at her. She ain't got nothing to say now. Yeah. Hey, bah, bah. hey, come say that to my face. I don't wanna go look at your ugly face. Need hey. going back to Walmart where you got that clothes from. Well, let me tell you something. You need to go back to the dadgum zoo where you come from. And with your mama you and your daddy. You hey. With your mama and your daddy. I can't take up for you with him because he's cool, man. He calls in talks. Yeah, yeah really. I'll see you later then. I don't want to talk to that bitch. Right, Row your trunk hey, up man. and shut up. Take it easy, brother. Hey, listen. That's all the time we got for today. But we'll see you right here next week on AIWF Ringside Wrestling. See you tonight. Right. With the King of Marks for Rick D.